this evil sorceress look, you want to cover your eyebrows. Now there are tons of videos on YouTube how to do that, so go and check that out. And of course, I also put on some glittery purple nail polish. So then I used this cream color base by Illamasqua, and it's in this very light lavender color. This is going to work as a base for the eyeshadows and also just to help cover up the products that I have on the eyebrows, like the eyebrow wax. So I'm just applying that all around my eyes. And then the first color I'm going to go in with is this sort of matte aubergine, very light aubergine color. And this is just to build up some definition on the inner and outermost part of the eye. You really want to just build that up. It's going to help to blend out the later darker colors. And I'm extending it quite far since I am going to put makeup there as well. And then I went in with this bright, bright purple color um, on a slightly smaller brush and just intensified that on the inner and outer corner. So I'm leaving the middle space blank as you can see. And I'm also going to apply that on the lower lid and then of course a blend, blend, blend. So I use a slightly smaller brush to apply and then a bigger brush to blend it out so it looks very soft. And then I went in with another eyeshadow and this is sort of a rusty red color just to kind of add a little bit of that rust red. These are all mattes by the way. You can use shimmer but I really like the effect that matte eyeshadows give so I'm just blending that out again, as you can see, this is really looking multi-layered, like different colors going on on the eye. I really like that look. And then I use another eyeshadow. This is like a very, very deep, dark purple, again, matte. Can you see a trend here? <laughs> and I'm just going to intensify that on the outer and inner corner again, apply some of that, and then blend, blend, blend away. Now I've left the middle space blank, so I'm going to apply some of that cream color base again from Illamasqua, the purple, light purple, lavenderish color. And I apply that onto the middle part of my lid, just using my finger. And then I use this really awesome uh, eyeshadow. It's actually by L'Oreal. It has kind of different reflective colors, kind of a duo or a multi-chrome pigment or eyeshadow rather. And I applied that with my finger right on the inner part and then also on the lower lid. And then I blended everything out with this eyeshadow by MAC. It's a reflective purple color, so it gives that pretty glowing look to the eye. For the eyebrows, I wanted them really high above my eyes, and I also wanted them to look really sharp, almost kind of Vulcanish. So I used first some eyeshadow on an angled brush just to kind of trace in where I want them to go, and then I kind of measured on the side of my head if they're about at the same level, and they were, so that was really great. <laughs> So then I filled them in with just a little bit more of the brow powder and then I wanted them really a lot darker and it was kind of hard to apply this product onto the eyebrow because they were sealed with wax. So I used an Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and just filled them in with a really dark brown color. And underneath the brows as a highlight I used that cream color again and just kind of helped to clean up the line and this is going to work as a highlight and also just to help smooth out the edges a little bit. Next I wanted to do this really crazy winged eyeliner. So I have a detailed video on how to do winged liner, but I'm just going to show you a little bit here. As you can see, I'm pulling out the line really, really, really far because this is a Halloween look, so I did want it to be more extreme. And you can definitely do whatever kind of liner you want, but I think this is very effective for this kind of look. And I connected that just onto the lower lash line also. In the waterline, I used this pencil by Makeup Forever. Sorry, it's a little bit off cam, but I put that into my waterline because it really stays and just helped to define that lower eyeliner also a little bit more. Then you want to apply mascara of your choice. Now I'm going to be applying lashes so you don't have to do them too crazy because you're going to be applying falsies after. Then I applied the false lashes. These are by House of Lashes on the top ones. I wanted some really sort of flared out ones because I really want them to look very, very lashy. So I added some on the top and on the bottom actually and then just kind of pressed them into place. Now the bottom ones are not proper under lashes. They're just normal lashes that I flipped around. So I had to trim them a little bit using some scissors just to kind of make sure that they blend in on the inner corner. I know this is just kind of like a, a spur of the moment decision. 
For the face, I wanted a really intense and spooky looking contour, so I used a grayish eyeshadow by MAC and just used that on a fan brush to really uh, kind of bring out my cheekbones. And then I wanted to deepen that up, so I used a bluish gray color just to intensify that contour. These are again all matte eyeshadows. And just really kind of went in again under my cheekbones with that. And then I used that same deep purple shadow from before because I wanted some of that purplish look also on my face. So I went in with that. Again, this is Halloween, so it's okay to look crazy and extreme. I also applied that just underneath my jawline just to bring my jawline out a bit. And underneath my chin, that works really well. And then I drank the contour down the hollows of my neck. So you can do this wherever your costume is ending. You wanna bring the contour down to there so it looks a bit more like part of the skin actually rather than just like the makeup ends on the face. And I used a little bit of that deep purple contour just around the sides of my face, which um, looks cool. It didn't end up really showing up so much because I'm gonna be wearing that wig later, but you can also use a kabuki brush to just blend everything so the contour looks a little bit more smoothly blended. And then I used a highlighter. This is actually a blush by Lamasca. It's in a bright white color. This just works on my skin because my skin is already fair. Um, but if, you, if your skin is not as fair as mine, then just use a lighter colored powder to highlight with. This this is again matte and I just did that on the tops of my cheekbones and then down the ridge of my nose, also on my cupid's bow around my lips and then down my neck. That worked really well also. So for the lips, I wanted to outline them first with a purple pencil and this purple pencil was a little bit hard to apply because it's meant more for the eyes and it just didn't really apply very smoothly. So I just kind of lined them and filled in my lips with that pencil. This is going to work as a base for the OCC lip tars that I'm applying in a purple color and a blue that I mixed together because I wanted a very, very deep bluish purple and then I used a lip brush just to apply that. It's very, very opaque, these lip tars, and you can pretty much make any color that you want on the back of your hand mixing different colors. So then I blotted that because you definitely don't want that transferring onto your teeth. And then I set it with that purple eyeshadow. This is just going to make it more matte and just make it a bit more longer lasting throughout the night. So that's it for the makeup. As you can see, I've slipped into my costume now. I've got a black wig on. I got the wig from eBay and this awesome costume. It's a witch, like a sexy witch costume. I love it. It's like deep purple and then it has this black netting on top. The hat was so cool. It did get quite hot with the hat, so you can do it either or. Like you don't really have to wear the hat but I thought it looked really neat with these voodoo eyes. And I love this costume. I got it from buycostumes.com. I got all my Halloween costumes for videos this year from buycostumes.com and there is a coupon code in the info box where you get 20% off the whole site. So if you do still need a Halloween costume, go and check them out because they have a huge selection. And what I also really liked is that this costume was really good quality. Like the dress was very, very comfortable and it fit very true to the size. Like there's a sizing chart and I measured myself and it really fit perfectly. So go and check them out if you still need a Halloween costume. These boots I already owned from, I don't know, years ago and they worked so well because they had those pointy tips. Thank you so much for watching my Halloween tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this evil sorceress look and if you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also leave your comments down below and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I will be doing more Halloween looks until end of October and I would love to have you come along for the ride. And if you missed any of my other videos, make sure to check out the playlist linked below because they are full of interesting Halloween videos. That's all everyone. You are dismissed. Goodbye.